Hey guys, it's Wendy from Sticky Lore again, and today is the actual step-by-step -step tutorial of how you can take a little plant like this and put it in a two-liter bottle, turn it upside down, and grow it. So what you're going to need is a two-liter bottle, a sharp knife, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher is optional, some kind of yarn or twine, fabric, some kind of paper, I use a big coffee filter, and another option is to have a piece of plastic and a permanent marker to make a tag. first thing you're going to want to do is take the label off of your two liter bottle. I'm not really picky about the stripe here, but you can take your time getting it off if you like. And then go ahead and remove the lid. And then I usually take a sharp knife because it's easier to get it started than just starting with scissors. But if you don't have a sharp knife or you'd rather not, you can just go ahead and try to poke a hole with your scissors. But find the line at the bottom of the two liter bottle and use that as a guide to cut around. So I'm going to poke right there. Do you see this line here? There's a line at the bottom of the two liter. And I'm gonna find it with the end of the knife here and poke into it. Okay, and that's about all you need to be able to thread your scissors through and finish that way so it's not so dangerous. You don't wanna cut your fingers off. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you can clean it up once you get the bottom of it off. Okay, and then you can save the bottom here, poke holes in it, and use that for planting seeds. So if you want to clean it up, just take your scissors and trim off any little sharp edges that you might have gotten. or any uneven areas, just to make it look a little nicer. Okay, now I'm gonna take the hole puncher. If you don't have a hole puncher, which they're really inexpensive to pick up, but you can always use your scissors or a sharp knife to poke a hole or poke holes around the top of your bottle here. So you're gonna thread your hole puncher on there if that's what you're using and make your first hole and then kind of pinch it so that you can get an idea of where to punch the one on the other side. Put your hole right there in the middle of the hole puncher and now you're lined up on the other side and then turn it. Put your little holes on the sides here and pinch it a little bit. Don't pinch it too much. You don't want creases down the side of your bottle. Line it up in the middle. Punch and then same thing like the other hole. You're going to put it on the other side. Put your little hole in the middle of the hole puncher and now they're pretty evenly spaced around the top. The next thing we're gonna do is to cut string or twine. I'm just gonna kind of estimate how long. I usually like for it to be about 30 inches. And I'm gonna cut four pieces of string the same length.
doesn't have to be exact. Okay, the next step is to take your string and thread it into the holes around the top of your bottle and double knot. Okay, once you've got your strings on, you're ready to put your plant in. You don't want to tie it yet because you want to see how low you want the bottle to hang based on where your nail is. You are going to want to cut a piece of fabric into a square. And I'm using an old pair of jeans that got so ripped up I couldn't wear them anymore but I also like that they're black because this is going to be the piece that you put down at the neck of the bottle so that your plant won't fall through and I liked that these jeans were black because it's going to blend in with the soil and won't be so noticeable through the bottle. Now this is just a rough square. And then you're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again until you have a small square like this. And on the tip where all the folds come together, you're just going to cut a little piece off. Just a little tiny piece, little corner. So that when you open it up, you have a hole in the middle of your fabric. Then you're going to want to start on the edge of your fabric just on one side and cut from the edge to the hole, all the way to the hole. Okay, so that it opens up like this. start this over a plastic bag so that I can catch the soil and reuse it. So I'm just going to open it up here. And then I'm going to take the little plant that I want to use and kind of put my fingers around it here so that I can hold it in place and start squeezing all around the pot that it's in. This is a little pot that I made from the bottom of a plastic cup okay, until it just falls out. Okay. And then just kind of gently remove some of the dirt so it's a little bit easier to work with when you're trying to wrap it up to put in the bottle, which is what we're going to do next. Okay, when you've got it about like that, you've got a little ball of roots and some soil still left on it. You're going to take the little piece of fabric 
that you cut earlier and put it at the base here so that all the soil and roots are on one side and the plant is all on the other side. And just wrap it around like a little Christmas tree skirt. Okay? And then I'll lay it gently down on the piece of paper or in this case I, I'm using the big coffee filter because these coffee filters are too big for my coffee pot. And then very gently pull all your leaves up and just kind of wrap it loosely. And also, let me open this back up. Make sure that you have a little bit of room at the end here. You don't want all the leaves all the way to the end because you're going to want to be able to pinch it and pull it through the neck of the bottle right there. Okay, so. Just gonna gently wrap this like that. And that's going to reduce the damage to your plant while you're threading it through, okay? All right, then take your two liter bottle. All right, you're gonna wanna try to do this as fast as possible without tugging your plant around because you don't want it wrapped up for too long. Once you've got it wrapped up, you're going to thread it through your bottle and very carefully start threading it through the neck of the bottle. And just when the paper comes through, you can start pulling on it very gently. Okay? And work it through from the other side and pull gently on the outside. and threading it through. Okay. Here we go. Oh. My little skirt came off, but that's okay. You can position it again. Just wrap it back up. Okay. And once your plant's through, remove your paper. Push all the way down until the fabric reaches the neck of the bottle. Okay, and then turn it upside down and spread your little roots out. Okay. Now, you might have a little bit of damage with some of these leaves. We'll know more after it's had a chance to settle in there. And if anything was damaged, we can snip it off, but your plant will be fine as long as it's got this nice healthy stem on here, okay? It'll grow leaves back. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is hold your strings out of the way of the opening on the bottom of your bottle, which is now the top, and start filling. You don't have to fill all the way to the top. As a matter of fact, it's a good idea to leave just a little bit of room at the top to collect water when you're watering it every day so that it doesn't spill over the edges when you pour it in. Okay? There we go. Now we're going to find where we're going to hang it. Okay, so now that I've pick the spot that I'm going to hang it, which is right next to the zucchini plants that I showed you in the first video. I'm going to want, want to kind of, before I've tied the knot, adjust how far down I want the bottle to hang. 
just by looking at it and kind of guessing. Okay, just keep in mind that you want room for your plant to grow underneath where the neck of the bottle is going to be. So in this case, the plants can keep going past the railing on the porch, but if you have an obstacle that's going to prevent your plants from growing down after a, a certain distance, then you're going to want to keep that in mind and maybe hang them higher. But this is good for right here. And so when I've picked my spot, I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot. I've already made the mistake of tying it right to the nail. You don't want to do that because it's harder and you have to undo the knot later if you ever want to move it. So go ahead and make your knot and then hang it on there. Okay? And then if it's crooked or something like that, you can go ahead and fix it up while you're still up here. Don't worry if your two liter bottles are not even or are not in a uniform height. I tried to do that when I first started this and it's not going to happen. The wind will blow it and some of them will twist around and they'll end up being different heights. So don't, don't even worry about that. If you watched my first video, you know that I like to use fast food cups or any other type of plastic cup or container and uh, poke holes in the bottom. I don't throw the top of the cups away. I'll save that also and make tags out of it because it's really durable and waterproof. And I'll just cut strips out. Okay, until they're about like this. And then I take my hole puncher and make a little hole in it. And what I'm doing is I'm going to label the little plant that I just put in the bottle because even if you think you remember or you think you're going to remember what you planted, if you start planting a lot of things, at some point you're gonna question yourself. Which pepper is that again? What? When was it planted? When's it supposed to be ready? That kind of thing. So always, always label all along the way and put as much information on your tags as you would want in the future. So I always put what kind of plant it is. So in this case, we just planted a banana pepper upside down. So I'll go ahead and write banana pepper. Okay, and if you notice, I put a date on here. That's the date that this little banana pepper was a seed when it first went into a pod, which I still need to show you, and when I first started germinating it before anything ever happened. The very first step that I did was on May 14th. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that date on here. The last step that I like to do is put the harvest time on the tag as well, which is when Google has told me that this particular fruit or vegetable is supposed to be ready for harvest. So in this case, peppers, all peppers in general are supposed to be ready for harvest within 100 to 150 days from the time that they were seeded. So um, the harvest time for this is August 22nd through October 11th. And that's what I'm gonna write on the bottom here. Then you're going to take a little piece of string and thread it through and we're going to tie this onto our bottle. 
All right, so it doesn't matter which side you choose because the wind is gonna blow it around and it'll be in a different place tomorrow when you come out here. But just wrap it around one of the strings that's holding it up and tie a knot in the end. just like that and let it hang down and now you'll have all the information about your little plant on your tag the last thing that you want to do is to water your plant really well I'm going to be giving it much more water than I normally would because just this first time I want to thoroughly saturate the soil All right, you're going to see it start pouring out the bottom, and that's perfectly normal. This little plant has now been planted into the two liter bottle, and it's ready to start growing. It's looking a little banged up right now, but just give it a day or two, and it's going to be just fine. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I've got lots more videos to come. I'm sorry this one was late. I know I promised it the day after the last video. I can't even tell you how many times I tried to film this, but now it's here finally, and so we can start filming some other things in the coming days that I've promised you. I've got lots more little plants to turn upside down and um, other things that I wanna show you in getting seeds started. So make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you in a future one. Bye.